Welcome to the video. And I'm out on my mountain bike, just heading up into the South Downs, just north of Brighton. And it's a very warm and sunny day. So the plan today was to go out with Kev, but for reasons that were not my fault, I'm running very late. He's already out. We're hoping to tie up. It may be just to, to say hello. I'll see where we meet. Just gone past Brighton's football stadium and I'm heading up on this new path. Used to be gravel, runs from the football stadium to Woodingdean. It's now tarmac. Which I gotta say is a bit of a disappointment really. As a mountain biker, gravel rider. I would have preferred if I'd left it as it was. However, if you're a roadie, I get you might prefer this. I'm at the point where I could meet Kev coming the other way, but he could come from two directions. Down there or up there. I've not heard from him, so I'm just gonna have to pick a direction and uh, see if I get lucky. And I'm gonna go that way, because it's a nicer descent. Okay, we've made contact, sort of. We're now both sharing each other's locations. No, we're sharing our own locations with each other through WhatsApp, not done that before, didn't know you could, pro tip. And he's quite far away from me still, uh, so I've got a bit more riding to do and there's gonna be a brutal climb, which I'm hoping he's gonna come down so I don't have to go up it. He is absolutely miles away from me, so I've got to go up this climb, which I attempted on my gravel bike in a recent video. Didn't make it. Got the gears today though. Looks flat on the GoPro, no doubt. It definitely isn't. Yeah, I've done it. At what cost, I don't know. We're both now on the same path. We're definitely gonna meet somewhere along this section. So Kev's heading up to Telscombe village from the roadside and I'm heading towards it from the south down side. From the off-road side. That looks like a nice climb. Should have warned me about that, mate. I might have had more input into whether we came this way. I've gone from being hot to overheating in the space of one climb.
Mm. It's not really a tourist attraction, is it? You see the sunflower fields in France, and this is a bit disappointing. Look, they're only about three foot high. Yeah, well, I've said goodbye to Kev. There he is in the background. He's heading for home. I'm going to carry on doing a bit more because I haven't done as far as him, but it's really hot. So I'm going to head back up to the South Downs Way and then head west, where I know there's a water tap. After that is a brutal climb, which I avoid like the plague. Let's see if I've got the mental strength to attempt that. Well, you can hear the A27 behind me and I'm heading up this climb on the South Downs Way. GoPro won't do it justice, this is not nice. But I want to knock this climb out because a little bit further on on the South Downs Way is a new calf. I'm getting hungry and I want to check it out. That hill wasn't as bad as I remember. Or maybe I'm just fitter. No, I think the dry conditions help. Well, brakes don't seem to be performing that great. Didn't seem to have the stopping power on that really steep descent, so I had to kind of abort and uh, realign myself to get down. Anywho, I was just about to say it's been a bit cloudier, so it's a bit warmer, and as I do, the sun comes out. So I've got a long, steady climb. It's going to take me up to the South Downs Way. I wouldn't say I've broken the back of the ride yet, but um, I'm on my way to breaking the back of it. Oh, I'm still doing this climb. It's not hard, but I'm hanging. I need food, badly. I think I've got an emergency food thing. No added sugar. Same for the kids' packed lunch. I'm gonna eat it though. I do get a card for the Bear Cards app. I'm only a five a day. Last thing I want. Oh dear. Hanging. Let's hope this helps. Feel a little bit better for my black current twirls, whatever they were. Now I just feel really hot. I think it's a combination of not enough food and too hot. And there's so many flies out today. I think it's flying ant day. back up on the top of the South Downs again still on the South Downs way and there's been a trend in recent months really of these sort of pop-up calves that have appeared on the South Downs way and there's a new one on the Downs link as well and this is a new one between Ditchling Beacon and Black Cap I'm surely going to stop at this place and hopefully have some sugar definitely broken the back of the ride now feeling a lot more positive Wow, that was a really welcome stop. I feel a lot better for that. Got a bottle of Coke, a flapjack, and a large slice of watermelon. I never stopped there before. It's kind of a bit too close to home, but the woman was really friendly, and the flapjack did taste homemade. It was uh, very welcome. Well, it's been an interesting ride. Once again, I've suffered with the heat. Not my fault. And not eating enough, my fault. Met up with Kev for part of the ride, 
I've done a couple of really gnarly climbs. I've been eaten by flies. So many flies out today. Everyone was like swiping them away. And I'm not sure how far I've gone because my Garmin battery has died. Not the Garmin's fault, I should add. I forgot to charge it properly before I came out. I would say it probably would have been about a 40k plus ride. Well, I hope you've enjoyed coming along on my ride today. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.